It is time for Chicks on Dudes. This is your opportunity to ask Mac for Bob 106.9, a question that maybe you can't ask somebody in person. You can't do it face-to-face. We'll keep you anonymous. All you got to do is drop us an email, kmshow at rock1061.com. Good morning, Mac. Good morning. Welcome to the studio. You ready for some questions today? Yes. Hard-hitting. Sure. Hard hitting questions. Yeah. So this first question actually it's it's kind of a kind of a long one. So here we go. Uh Matt Cotter and Marshall, I need some advice. As a guy, it's sometimes hard for me to come up with a good gift idea to my female friend in a way that it's not too much, if you know what I mean. We're going our separate ways due to college. Uh, she has literally made this year the best year of my life. And I'm grateful to have her friendship and I want to honor that. We've recently celebrated her birthday, and I gave her a special mug with a custom design of our best, funniest, most memorable moments. She loved it. Now I want to give her something to commemorate this closing period. I was thinking of a journal with some pages filled by me with some custom quotes of our moments, photos, and other stuff like that. I'm hoping that's not too clingy. Anyway, do you have any ideas uh, what to give a friend as a farewell gift? It doesn't sound like she's a friend. I feel like you're in love with her, dude. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So. Mac, what do you think? I mean, but, idea. but in the same sense, there's nothing wrong with being really good friends with the opposite sex. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> what are you saying, Mac? Um, are you saying this back is to friends the main with benefits? Question, Marshall. Mm. Um, I like that idea. Actually, I wouldn't think. I mean, it just depends on how close you are with that friend. I mean, the cup. Thing that didn't seem too clingy, but you're going your separate ways for college. So, I mean, I like the journal of scrapbooking, if you will. I like that. This dude is really in tune with his feelings when it comes to wanting to do a journal. Cotter, do you think a journal's like a little too far? Like the mug? I guess, cool. Maybe she likes coffee. And you're like, oh, like, and you put some crazy sayings on it. Maybe you painted it on there. But like doing a journal, I think that's a little weird, right? Um, I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't get the sense that he's necessarily he's got this friend zone relationship thinking there's more there. I mean, I, I do believe that it's just a friend thing. So it's not like you're never going to see each other again. I mean, you guys are going to keep in contact, I'm assuming. If not, you're crappy friends. Yeah. So stay in touch with one another. I, I don't know. I feel like he's trying very hard. Okay. And it's not necessary to try this hard. I don't know. A, a card saying thank you. I, I, you want to get her something yeah. fine? I don't know. I just feel like he's he's doing too much. You're, you're, you're friends. What if he went like the extreme route and just like kind of laid his feelings out there? Because I feel like he's in love with her, but he's like repressing it. Better late than never. I don't yeah. know. I mean, if he's got feelings for her, then it's just desperate and pathetic. I, yeah. I, I, I yeah. mean, be I. If there's feelings there, say something. If not, just just walk away. Yeah, I mean, he goes. He goes. I'm hoping that's not too clingy. Yeah, it seems a bit clingy. Well, I don't know. Is have they only been friends for a year, or have they been like friends forever? He said the last year she's made it the best. So maybe okay. they've known each other before that. We're not for sure. The the whole context of their relationship. But I guess that would have to be the drawing of the line for me. Like, how long have y'all been friends? How would you feel if a dude was like, hey? We're cool, and we're friends, and I got you a mug. And I'm like, oh, thanks. Yeah, that's really nice. And then I just gave you a journal afterwards, like a like a serial killer. Like I'm the, the you know, Oklahoma City bomber. If he was like a childhood friend, that'd be different. But if they've only been friends for like a year, that's kind of weird. Well, I mean, it's not, I, I'm getting the impression they've been friends longer. Whether it's childhood or not, I don't know. I mean, with him saying... Uh, come up with a good, good gift idea for my female friend in a way that's not too much, if you know what that mean, know what I mean. I think he's saying there, I'm not in love with this person. Yeah. I just like this person, and I want to give her something uh, as we part ways. But once again, I think he's trying too hard, in my opinion. Let's just settle with some coffee to go with that said mug you got her. Or just her like a sex coffee? toy with your name on it. All right. Yeah. She'll always remember you. You're weird. With your time away. You're weird. <laughs> is, is that too much? I don't I think, know. I think that. He's asking, He's asking. you know, if, is that too clean? I don't know. Let's just go all the way. Let's see how it goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> all the way. All right. Uh, all right. We got two more questions to go from Mac here on Chicks on Dudes. If you have a question, don't forget you can email it in kmshow at rock1061.com. More with Mac up next, 0936. It's Adrenaline, Rock 1061. Good morning. Thank you for hanging out on air and on the stream. Cotter and Marshall show. Mac from Bob 1069 is in studio. Chicks on dudes. This is when you can ask Mac a question anonymously. Maybe something you wouldn't ask somebody face to face. We got two more questions to go. Mac, are you ready for question two? Yes. 
All right, here we go. Hey, chicks. So a couple months ago, a girl joined our team at my store, and I'm starting to think she might be interested in me. Mm -mm. So I'll just start listening. So I'll just uh, start listening why. I'm sorry. I'll just start listing why I think she might be interested in me. Since the start, anytime we're in a group talking, she almost always is angled toward me and makes eye contact. When she started working, she almost always came to me to ask stuff, even though other colleagues were closer. Since the first time she talked, she was very quick opening up and talking about very personal stuff. The last time I saw her, we both had a break, and we were in the back. We had a great conversation for 10 minutes, and I swear I looked at her, and she was blushing. So, is she into me? It was all up until... The 10 minute break in the back that I was like, well, maybe she just thinks of you as the employee or coworker that she needs to go to for questions. I, okay. I get that. She's blushing. She's, she's got something. Yeah. Coco. I think she's got COVID. Okay. Uh, you should stay at least six, six feet, feet away, away from yeah. her. <laughs> yeah. Have mask always handy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's probably the reason why she's blushing. Um, no, I think she's into him, right? Yeah, I, I, think I think this so. makes, I don't know what's, but it's a coworker. So it's obviously a, a difficult situation. You don't want to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. So you probably want to ask for, uh, you know, her digits or her Snapchat or something. Yeah, no, mm -mm. no, not, not social media. I do media. not agree with the whole dating or hanging out or doing whatever with a coworker. Right? No. Mm -mm. So <laughs> too much. Leave it at home. <laughs> Leave it. No. So absolutely not. So this no. guy should not move forward at all with this. Um, I would try to be like, you know what? I don't have the answer to that question. Why don't you ask Brad over there? He's oh. he's free. Or off of somebody else. <laughs> I would. So uh, so pawn her off at somebody else. Why? I mean, so he if he's got a thing for her, why would he? Why why pawn her off at somebody oh, else? So does he have a thing for her? It sounds like he's got a thing for. Her. Okay. Well, that in that case, don't don't date a coworker. It never turns out good. Mm. Yeah, but I We've mean, seen cases of that they they sound young. You know, maybe they just want to have some fun. I see, you know, I don't see the, the see the issue with okay, it. Okay, okay. I once heard a song that said girls just want to have fun. Well, she was By wrong. the incomparable Cindy Lauper. <laughs> well, so she was wrong. I love Cindy, but come on. Oh, wow. Not all girls are like, it. it's 2021. Well, <laughs> okay, now. Uh, no, I mean, my take on this is I think guys always look into way too much. And even the blushing mm -hmm. thing, I don't know if I buy it. Dude, if, if she... Maybe she's had a sunburn. She's not... Talking to you at work, asking you a question for help is not dropping a hint that she likes you. It's yeah. like, oh, this guy knows his stuff. I'm going to ask him. I Dudes always look into too much. However, Don't he, overthink he did say that she sh openly shares personal stuff with him. Hey, I have a dog named Bill. Maybe that's personal to him. He's a, he, I think he's grasping for straws at this point in time. Okay, 50-50. All right, I get it. All right, Mac, we got one more question for you this morning. Let's get right into it. Uh, morning, chicks. My girlfriend us usually ignores me and or even when she talks to me over the phone, her tone changes when she is with her friends, her girlfriends. He goes, we used to have long conversations, and now it's very short. Is this normal? We're just four months into a relationship, and this situation started two weeks ago. So I'm having issues with this. Is this normal? No. Uh, <laughs> no. I hate to say it. So she was acting the way whatever she was before just to get you. And now that her true colors are coming out. Right. It happens, uh, unfortunately, a lot more than you think. Um, not with me. But, <laughs> yeah, I would just, mm, I don't know, two weeks in. And she started acting like that, and you've put up with this for four months? Imagine. No, well, the situation started two weeks ago. They've been together for four months. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't, I couldn't be with somebody who acts differently around their friends than they would me. Yeah, and especially if you're getting ignored. That's obviously, that's a red yeah, flag that, right there. Mm -hmm. If you don't exist in front of other people with your with your spouse, your, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, I'm the same issue. way. However, I don't want it to be misconstrued. I would like for you to go hang out with your friends. I would like for you to conversate with your friends. Don't be all about me. Please, for God's sakes, don't. <laughs> but give me some kind of attention. Don't ignore me. Right. I mean, how would you watch all the TV you do exactly. if, you, if you were around <laughs> yeah. them all the time? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, you and you have to be a fan of Friends because <laughs> more than likely 90% of the time that's on my TV. All right. So there, there's a bullet point of dating Mac. You got to be a Friends fan. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this guy, uh, you're in a bad relationship. Yeah. You just don't know it yet. But uh, uh, We're if, telling you. But if you're a guy, I know exactly what he's going to do. He's just going to stick around for about mm -hmm. six more months. And then he's just going to be like, why is this happening? Yeah. And he'll do nothing about <laughs> At it. At that point, it's your fault too. So.
All right, chicks on dudes, if you have a question for Mac, all you got to do is email it into the studio. We'll keep you anonymous. It's KM Show at rock1061.com. Hey, guys, it's Connor and Marshall from Rock1061. Thank you so much for watching yeah. our stupidity on Oof. daily. We appreciate it. So make sure that you like and comment and subscribe. It's down there somewhere. We're not exactly for sure. Uh, we do appreciate it. And, of course, more content always coming soon.